I mostly just introduce myself as Nev. It's really hard to introduce myself. I also really like the word tomboy. Yeah, I think, I think labels and categories have a lot of weight and in some regards are really important and I think in others really stifling. So when I describe myself, I can use categories like non-binary, queer, Jewish, socialist, transmasculine, transgender. Um, but I think what really comes down to it is just, I think I'm a really kind person. I think that's something that I like define myself by and hold myself to. As someone that's presented in society or passed in society as a cis woman and a cis man, even though I'm not, I get read that way, it's created this sort of bizarre duality where I have experienced the treatment of both a woman and a man. As a woman walking down the street at night, I felt in danger constantly and was always prepared for violence. But there was one night where I was walking home and it was earlier on in my transition and there was a woman walking in front of me and she turned around and looked over her shoulder at me and I had this realisation that I had become the threat. I really like my body. And I think that's been a difficult point to get to. And that body has changed and grown and evolved over time, but so is everyone's. We just, I think that we create ourselves into what we want to be. It's funny because I, I babysit kids and I was babysitting these kids for the first time in two years. And their parents said, look, they're going to have some questions for you. And they said to me, so do you have boy bits or girl bits? And I said, I just have me bits. So I get asked a lot of questions all the time. And I start to run out of energy to answer them, even when the intentions are really good and people just want to learn. I don't just want to teach. I also just want to live. Google some of these things or read some articles. I mean, trans people are producing a lot of content. There's a lot out there that you can now access. It's a hell of a lot easier to ask someone to answer something for you, but it's a hell of a lot more considerate to do the research yourself. It is hard to be trans. My life is hard, it's, it is difficult, but in my experience and through my story, it hasn't been because of my dysphoria. It's been how awful people are. My family over Friday night dinner will offer me a kippah, which is like a Jewish head covering traditionally for men, as a way of kind of showing me that they've finally come to terms with the fact that I'm a man. I actually don't want to go from one box to another. I don't need that. They tell me that I'm being disrespectful. 